Do you think Hollywood is made up of a large group of class clowns? Hmm. Were you all class clowns growing up? Or were you more the introverted one watching from afar? It's hmm. an interesting question. Silently uh, thinking, judging, whatever. Just judging. Like. I think that Hollywood is made up of um, every single type of person. I don't think that, 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 I think that that's why we go to see movies. I think that we don't, um, or, you know, watch TV. Everybody's different, you know, and I think that, um, I think for the most part, people in Hollywood have learned that they that are a little bit, um, they have to be energetic, you know, and, and, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're, they're not introverts. I think there are a lot of introverts here. I think that, I think there's every, every type here, you know, I think that that's why, um, I think that that's why there, there's diversity. I'm Joey Kern and I approve this message. I'm Joey Kern and I approve Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Chris? Do you have anything to add to that? I don't know. I don't, I think, it, yeah. That's you don't really have any friends. You don't really I get don't out. really get people, out there. So yeah. Well, how would you know? Have to, I don't do it. This is a lot of talking I've done here today. It's the first time people have been talking. I'm surprised your vocal cords still work. Yeah, it's sore. It's yeah, sore. I mean, you know what? It needs a beer. We maybe it would be really nice if someone could. Don't get drunk. Um. Yeah, I think that there's, I agree, I mean, that it's as cheesy as it was phrased, I think it's, it's definitely this true that it is made up of a, there's a, there's a wide variety of people here. There are a lot of, it's, what's, what's interesting to me is that I, I sometimes find that there are different types of people who will look down on another group of people for their motivations in doing what they're doing, and it, the entertainment industry, there are a lot of class clowns. There are a lot of people who are just like, Look at me, I just want people to look at me, I just want to be looked at and admired and, and loved. And then there are people who are stereotypically a little bit more introverted and, and are, that say, I don't, you know, I want to make good work, I want to make challenging, truthful work, and it's not about who's looking at me, it's about what I'm bringing forward. And I often find that the people who feel that way about truth and beauty and being, you know, honest. And I always look down on those people who are just like, I just want to, I'm just trying to have a good time. Um, and the people who are trying to have a good time are always looking down on the people who are just trying to sort of pull something out of the muck. Um, and, uh, That's a really cheesy way of putting it. It's, it's, um, well, I was trying to keep it in the same vein. <laughs> My cheesiness? Yeah, I didn't want it, to, I didn't want to leap off too far. I wanted to just, you know, we guess you got to cut this together at some point. What if that trash man is going to try to come take you away? <laughs> <laughs> he might. <laughs> he might. Uh, but yeah, that's. I don't know where I was going with that. Well, you said that you feel that Hollywood respects people that are really almost uber extroverts that are just like on level 10. Mm -hmm. and, and what if you're in a mood where you're not in that space at all, you're almost like negative 10 introverted right how do you psych yourself out how do you get into that mode without alcohol or any other substances oh without I substances oh um, i don't know i don't uh, even think there's any way to answer that question uh, more sleep more Miss less the audition. Sleep. Yeah. Don't, go. don't go don't go don't go outside of your house um i recommend in los angeles never to leave your house <laughs> without drugs or alcohol ever you'll really hurt yourself it's pretty bad out there <laughs> it's pretty horrible <laughs> you should be pretty medicated. Yeah. <laughs> well, medicated maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's that's part of our job, you know. I mean, part of our job is to is to uh, I think our job is to fulfill what the writer has written, and so and so if the if the the job is to you know this character is supposed to be you know energetic and, and number ten at a ten, and you feel like you know that day for the audition you feel like oh, I'm at a negative ten. That's why we, you know, that's why we studied acting, you know, and, and not, not, not that you have to, but I think that that's, you use your technique to get to that place where you're like, okay, you know what, I don't, I'm not feeling this today, but I'm going to go through these steps, the, you know, this is my process to try to get me to that place. What do you think? Yeah, that no, answer? I think, I think that's right. Yeah, that's why that's the, that's the, that's the professional element to it. Mm -hmm. That's being a pro. There's a lot of times you don't feel like you want to be it's a weird job I mean there's a lot of times you not only do not feel like I don't have the energy to do this to to go out and you know play a scene where I'm this laughy funny guy who's making everybody in the room laugh not only do I not feel like doing that some days you're like I don't want anyone to look at me today like, right. I just want to 
crawl under a hole and put a blanket over my head and 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 you've got people fixing your hair and they're doing right. and it's just the there's the there's the the room you know and suddenly everything goes quiet and the camera's rolling and the eyes of not all the not only all the people in the scene but the whole crew is just sort of being like waiting for this scene to take place it, it's really it's pretty it can it can be a very invasive and and bad feeling sometimes and it's yeah, you know, part of being a pro where you just have to kind of suck it up and, and do it anyway yeah I always say though I think that Working is actually vacation for me. You know, when I'm when I'm not working, when I'm unemployed, that's really when I, my work starts. You know, that's when I have to try to get it. And that's when I have to like you know focus on getting a job. And those that's tough. You know, like being unemployed as an actor, it, 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 those times, it's awful. It's tough. And so when I actually do work, that's when I can kind of relax and just have fun. And like this is what I this is what I want to do. You know, I, this is why I I go through those 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 grueling times of not working. You know, and so. For me, that's just that's just that's the that's the sugar on top, you know. Whenever I do get the chance to actually work, it's great.